Good morning from the Southern Scrapbucket Channel. On this short video, what we're going to do, this here is a type of load lock they use in the trucking industry to secure goods in a trailer. Uh, this piece will just go in the back of the trailer, be from one side of the trailer, like driver's side to passenger side. And this piece here will lock into the wall. In a trailer, there are several different spots, attachment points. And that's all this is, is this helps, goes into the wall, safety release, catch and all that right there. They put it in the wall, lock it in place, and they go to the other side and they, these extend in and out so you can get it in there right. But this is just designed to keep whatever product or goods or whatever that they're hauling locked in place. And these have been, these were located for me. Uh, they're not in great shape. The truck driver that gave them to me is not going to use them. They don't like them. So I'm not going to sell them uh, for as they are because they are damaged in some spots. I see a lot of gouges and nicks, and I don't want to sell something that may not be good. we got another one over there that I've already worked on. I've already figured out how to do this. So maybe I can make this real quick for you. But what we're going to do is this riveted piece of a, uh, it's a pin that goes through all the way and there's the back side of it. But it, all it does is just keeps this in place. We're going to grind this piece off and then it'll, we'll take our scrap punch and our scrap hammer. Yeah, you'll see. And we're just going to tap it out when we get this down far enough. And then this pin will drop and this piece will slide out, scrap steel, scrap aluminum and we're going to see how it goes. And let's see if our scrap hammer and our scrap punch will work. Maybe not yet. A little bit more. So it took just a little bit more. Now I want to show you something for future reference while we got time. If you'll watch. This is aluminum and you saw there's hardly any sparks that came off of this. And it wouldn't surprise me if the reason sparks did come off of this is that there might have been a chip of steel in there. Now watch the steel. Little fireworks show. So for future reference, what you need to remember is that aluminum generally does not spark, but steel usually will when you're using a grinder. And sometimes you'll come across stainless steel, which is a non-magnetic, the really good, the really good stainless steel is non-magnetic. And so sometimes to determine whether it's stainless steel or aluminum, take your grinder and hit it. Steel will always spark. So keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this short video and the lessons you learned from it. Come back and see us at the Southern Scrap Bucket Channel. Thank you.